in a logical syllogism. Zuba is meant to be fun. It's not some hardcore competitive game. Oh shoot, what in the heck just happened? Yo, what's up guys? Zuba King here and well, in today's video, I am going to be telling you the top 3 worst mistakes that you or other players around you could very well be making. Now, there's going to be three of them. We're going to start with one and with three. Obviously, that's just math. And I'm going to tell you right now, number three is so crazy. Like, you won't even expect it. So stick around for that, all right? Stick around for number three. But we're going to start with number one. Number one is... I've said it before, but I haven't stressed it as a mistake, but here it is. So as you can see, I've already been making this mistake a little bit. I haven't made it a lot, but I made it a little bit. So as you can see with Earl, I've kind of skipped some upgrades off to the side. With the 14, you saw I did the item slot, but this one is a $50,000 upgrade. When I could go ahead and go to 14. Oh, shoot. What in the heck just happened? No idea, guys, but... So when I could easily go to level 14 and then go to 15, why wouldn't I do that? And, well, in my case, I just did it because I wanted to make a video on it and I was lazy. But most of the time, people do that. They'll just buy the middle one straight out of the row. And honestly, if you look at a lot of my characters, I'm pretty consistent about buying all the ones around it. And the reason is, what's going to happen is you're going to get a level 16, but you're going to be missing at least 20 to 30 upgrades over the course of the entire road of upgrading. And what that's going to do is it's going to lead to you getting killed by people lower level than you. And that's actually going to lower your morale, your own happiness while playing this game. So what that's going to do is you're going to be like, well, maybe I'm just a terrible player. Or maybe the YouTuber that I'm watching, <coughs> Zuba King, is a terrible YouTuber. And then you're going to unsubscribe from me and nobody wants that to happen. So yeah, upgrade all the upgrades rather than gunning through the middle because trust me guys... It is significant. I mean, you can look even one of these outskirt right here that at 15% on your shotgun. Do you realize how impactful that is? That's crazy. 15% is a lot when it when you get into the thousands of damage. It's insane. I mean, that can be an extra 100 damage. That's absolutely crazy. So let's go ahead and move on to the second thing you're doing wrong. All right, guys, so we're here with the second thing that you are doing wrong in Zuba, and that is buying cosmetics with your hard-earned gems, tickets, money, etc. So as you can see, Taurus Larry, 250 gems. Now, I like Larry. I like the Larry skins. Why not buy it? Well, oh, voice crack there. Why not buy it? Well, there's a very, very good reason for that, and that is because I need to save my gems. Now, what can I save my gems for? I could buy crates. I could buy coins for upgrades. I could unlock crates quicker. I could buy piggy banks, which I'm still pretty far away from that. But there's so many other things that I could spend my gems on other than cosmetics. Now, cosmetics are totally lit and fun, and you know, Fortnite literally makes bank off their cosmetics. So I'm not saying don't buy cosmetics in general. Buy them if you... I mean, Zuba's meant to be fun. It's not some hardcore competitive game. So if you want to buy a cosmetic, buy a cosmetic for all I care. I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm buying Shinobi Larry the first time I see it. But don't buy every cosmetic just to have the cosmetic, because really, it's not that great of a thing. It's not a flex. Anyone can get it with enough determination. And what it really ends up doing is hurting your overall status, because you're going to get upset. Like, why am I not getting coins? Why am I not upgrading my characters? Well, it's because you spent all of your currency on cosmetics, rather than actual upgrades. So yeah, if you're working really hard on getting character levels, maybe just lay back on the cosmetics for a while. As you can see, I've bought a couple skins. got Cursed Iris, Lucky Lizzie. But that's because I really enjoy it. Also, guys, Zuba literally gives you free cosmetics in the battle pass. So if you just grind those, you pretty much are getting free ones. I mean, I already got my free emote, and I'm going to get my free skin, hopefully. And if you even if you buy the premium pass, you get a free skin right off the bat. So, guys, there's really no point in buying skins. Again, winter skins, there is these. And right now, there actually is an offer where if you have all three of the winter skins, you get a legendary crate, which is pretty cool. It's like a little bonus. Like, hey, here's some crap for buying what you're already going to buy. But yeah, don't waste your gems or event tickets on skins unless you really truly want them because that's really going to hurt your growth over time. Congratulations, if you're still watching, you just won the I'm Still Here award. And last, and definitely not least, the number three, the thing you've been waiting for, is in the thumbnail. Grinding high tier grandmasters with your characters that aren't high leveled. So I see this all the time, and guys, if you haven't done this... If you can honestly look me in the fake eyes that I have on the screen and say, Zuba King, I have never camped a day in my life. 
then I want you to comment that down below, and I will personally give you a clapping hands emoji, because you deserve it, son. You deserve it. But... I've done it, you've done it, everyone's done it, your friend's done it, your grandma's done it. Just kidding, your grandma probably hasn't done it unless you watched that video where I told your grandma to play Zoom. But that's a whole other story for a whole different day. We're talking about now. And look, grinding grandmasters is kind of fun, actually, when you have the correct level of character. Like, my Earl, it's so fun to grind him grandmaster too. even try to get three. I've almost gotten three before. I just don't have the time to do it, honestly, and the willpower. But look, when you are trying to take your level 9 character and grind it to Grandmaster 5, you're just going to get angry with yourself. And so let me let me lay this out in a logical syllogism. So you might think one thing, but your brain is actually thinking of it as another. And it's subtle. It's, you don't even notice it's happening. But let me, let me lay this out. If you don't know what a logical syllogism is, you're about to find out. So basically, it's a train of thought that leads to a conclusion. So here's, here's what I come up with. Grinding events is, or grind, grinding characters is boring, okay? Almost everyone can agree with that. Like, hiding in bushes and camping is super boring. Alright. In order to play Zuba, I have to camp. So a lot of people are thinking, oh, I have to camp so I can get better rewards, right? So all of a sudden, your brain comes to the conclusion that in order to play Zuba, I must do boring things. So all of a sudden, whenever you're camping, whenever you're camping trying to grind those Grandmasters out with your low-level characters, Zuba, or your brain is constantly thinking, oh, I'm doing boring things to play Zuba. I'm doing boring things to play Zuba. And what that leads to is you are eventually just going to leave the game because subtly over like the course of a few months, your brain is just constantly telling you this is boring. This is boring. Why are you doing it? And eventually you're going to leave and find another game. And there's so much more potential to what you could have. So honestly, guys, grinding and camping is just not worth it for the feeble rewards. I mean, if you want to try to gr camp Gar Grandmaster 2, I'm not going to tell you not to. But really, guys, it's better just to save up. Maybe just only get to Grandmaster 1 with all your characters. And that's a lot of gold crates. I mean, even I have trouble doing that because I have all the characters. But getting all the gold crates is so amazing. And with your higher level characters, like, I try my best to get a lot of Grandmaster 2. I haven't been doing it recently, but it's just a really solid way to get gems. But there isn't much of a need to grind everything else. So yeah, those are the three biggest mistakes that you, your friends, and your grandma are probably making while playing Zuba. So anyways guys, thanks for watching, have an outstanding day, and I'll see you in the zoo.